Look at how much bacon that is. Five guys. Very nice. Golden french fries. Look at all those mushies. Shrooms. Gotta do the shrooms. There's our dog. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Ken Dama from KVD Productions TV. Today's Monday's mukbang is gonna be at Five Guys Burgers and Fries. Uh, a few people have asked me in the past uh, to go back to Five Guys and uh, I've been wanting to come back here because I'm gonna be going to California twice, once in May, once in June, once for ClamorCon and once for uh, VidCon. So when I'm there, I'm gonna be doing In-N-Out and I'm gonna be doing a mukbang of the In-N-Out and uh, I'm gonna enjoy that thoroughly. But I wanted to have something in my repertoire to compare to In-N-Out because people always ask me to compare them to, but it's been so long since I've had this, but today's the day. Mm. I grabbed a big Coke. Uh, I'm not sure if other in other locations they have um, poutine uh, and milkshakes. Some people keep asking me to do a poutine at Five Guys, and they don't have poutine at Five Guys, and they don't have milkshakes at Five Guys. What I grabbed today, interesting. They put little numbers on them. Uh, what I grabbed today was a bacon cheese dog uh, with ketchup and mustard. I uh, did a BLT with tomatoes, lettuce, and bacon. Uh, and they put mayo on it. I didn't ask them to put mayo on it, but I didn't ask them to put anything else on it. But anyway. And then I did the little bacon cheese ba burger. And I put grilled mushrooms, lettuce, tomatoes, A1 sauce. And I did the little fry. And it came to $30.23. Uh, like I like I said, I think I was talking on the vlog to the vlog people, but I one time asked for I think it was a medium fry, and it was a much bigger cup than that. But then they almost get a whole scoop of fries and dump it in. So talk about bonus fries. Check that out. That is a lot of bonus fries for the bottom. We're gonna have to pick through that slowly. I'll put it over there. I'll put it right there. Nice. Nice grease stain on the bag. Uh, I think I'm gonna start with uh, the burger. I'm not sure which one the burger is. I'm thinking this one. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing fine. Uh, no worries about cook and review, it will happen. Just Paul's gotta Ooh, that must be the bacon, lettuce, and tomato. I've never had that here. That's why I thought I'd order something new and two things I've already had before. And uh, this bacon, lettuce, tomato. Look how much lettuce. Three slices of tomato and a crap load of bacon. Whoa. Check out how much bacon that is. Five guys. Very nice. Holy crap. Do you check? Did you see that? Oh, it smells so good. That is gonna be really messy. I'm gonna take a bite of this right now because I can't stand it. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I put all my napkins underneath. Bad idea. That is really good. Crazy, crazy flavors of bacon. That is the number one bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich I've ever had. That has more bacon on it than I've ever had on a bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Usually it's like three strips, but I'm thinking that's like six. Golden french fries. Mm-hmm. I'd love to have a milkshake with this, man. I'm going to turn uh, this sideways. Make room. Make room. If 
for the burger. I think they yeah, have the first time I ever had five guys was, uh, was it 2012, I think. So this is a cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger. And it's little, so that means it has one patty. Although I'm doing mukbangs, I'm not trying to go crazy overindulgence. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be eating all the fries, but they are good fries. Mm. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. When my channel gets back to running normal, it will be mukbang Mondays. I think I keep telling you guys this, but people keep asking, even though I keep telling. Uh, Mondays will be mukbang Mondays. To, uh, Wednesdays should be cook and review. If it's not, it'll be replaced with uh, another old school food review. Uh, we'll try and do uh, Thursday Thursdays every week as much as we can. And then Fridays will be another fast food, old school food review. Check that out. Oh, look at all those mushies. Shrooms. Gotta do the shrooms. Mm. Pretty good. Mushrooms really help, man. When I did A1 sauce, let people know in the comments below what condiments you like to put on your bacon cheeseburger. What condiments would you would you change up your uh, lettuce, tomato, and your bacon, your BLT? I'm saying it all backwards. Would you put anything else on your BLT besides mayo? Oh no. Even though I have the tray, it's still matching. Hmm. Hand formed patties. I guess a good way to compare would just to be to do a straight up burger, a straight up cheeseburger. Because the mushrooms and the things I've added to that will change the overall experience if I'm going to compare to In N Out. I think I had a comment on the last video. Um, which was the uh, Mr. Sub video and uh, somebody uh, I guess I, I can't remember what I was referring to or talking about just like right now but they said they prefer Whataburger over Five Guys and In-N-Out I've had all three um, I, I, I personally if there is a Whataburger, an In-N-Out, and a Five Guys all right beside each other in the same area, I'd probably go to In-N-Out more. I don't, I don't know what it is about their burger. They're, they're small. The bun is awesome. The meat is meat. Typical. It's always about the bun. The bun is what makes the burger. Because the beef is beef. Here we go. There's our dog. Oh yeah, they uh, slit their dogs down the side and then they flatten it out. That's one way to stop it rolling around. I love mustard on hot dogs. I know a lot of you guys don't like putting ketchup on your dog. 
force a habit for me, sorry. Mm-hmm. That is good. If I order another one of these one day, I definitely won't uh, put bacon on it. It doesn't add anything to it. They put like way too much mustard on it. <laughs> it is everywhere. It is overpowering the flavor of the dog. This Five Guys location has been here for a really long time. I'm glad because some restaurants like that around this area don't last very long. I can't remember what was over there. We have like a Lone Star and a, uh, what is that? The Wild Wing. And there was something in between, but now there's an Eastside Mario's. I'm not sure if you guys have Eastside Mario's in the States or anywhere else other than Canada. That's a lot of bacon. And I got bacon on me again. Mmm. Just a rear view mirror so I can see what I'm doing. As I'm eating this, it's almost too much bacon. Yes, I said too much bacon. Hmm. And I'm glad it's crispy bacon. Because it's not very hot right now. It's not like they cooked the bacon right now and made it. I saw him just pulling it out of a bin. And it's building the sandwich really fast. So it'd be nice if the bacon was hot. But I'm gl glad it's as crispy as it is. Because if it was limp, soggy butt bacon, I think I'd throw up. It's eight degrees Celsius. Plus eight, it's really windy out. And I let, I'm trying to, I always try to guess to explain to the metric people, I mean to the imperial people. Uh, the the conversion of the, the temperature. So I, I think R0 is a freezing point, but year is 32. So R8 would be like, I don't know, 60? Maybe in the high 50s, maybe high 50s. Let me ask Siri. Hey Siri, what's eight degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? Eight degrees Celsius is 46.4 degrees Fahrenheit. I was way off. I think our 10 is 50 then. Hey Siri, what is 10 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? 10 degrees Celsius 50. is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Now try to remember that forever. A lot of food. I don't know how I get this stuff between my fingers, but I do. They gave me a lot of napkins because they know they know how messy this stuff is. Yeah, a lot of restaurants in this area. We've got obviously Five Guys, Booster Juice. And then we have the Lone Star, Eastside Mario's, Wild Wing, Crepe Star, Mucho Burrito, Extreme Pita, the liquor store, this whole area right here, and LA Fitness. <laughs> Good place to put an LA Fitness. 
I used to call it La Fitness because uh, being Canadian, when you see the LA, it's la. Ooh la la. It's really tangy, like too much mustard, too much ketchup. Whoa. I gotta keep cleaning, man. I'm gonna like make a design a towel, a KBD Dom, KBD Productions TV car, fast food car eating towel for major cleanups. That napkin just can't do. Ugh. So I'm gonna try and remember. The flavor of this burger, the experience. And when I go to uh, Palm Springs I'll go to in and out You know, I'll know the answer once and for all. And it won't matter which one I like more, I'll still frequent them once in a while. That's a good burger. Trying to stay clean for you guys. I know you guys don't want to see food in somebody's beard. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, Twitter. I pretty much post everything to Instagram first, and then my Instagram uploads it to Twitter and Facebook. I try to post once a day. That guy's like off-roading. I try not to post more than once a day. I don't want to inundate people with frivolous pictures. And when I put this out, I should take a picture. Wow. Out of the three items, the bacon, uh, the little bacon cheeseburger is the best thing out of the three. The, the hot dog would be the, because of the amount of mustard and ketchup they put on there, this is my least favorite thing. So there's a, something I don't like about that. If they put less on, it'd be fine. It'd be good. Oh yeah, and the bacon. Damn it. Man. Excuse me. Wow. Uh, excuse me. Pardon me. I still wanted a milkshake. 
$5 small milkshake. <laughs> Somebody recently told me that they went to a, a restaurant, ordered a $5 milkshake, um, and it wasn't uh, Burger's Priest. It was another place, and the same thing happened to them. It's very small milkshake, nothing special about it, and they charge you $5 for it. Hmm. Is ice cream really that expensive? I don't know. Well, can't finish the rest of that dog because it is too icky. And I think I'm going to save the uh, the rest of this for my dinner. That's all I'm going to do today. So let's start that discussion, people. When you go to Five Guys, I guess we could start off by... Have you ever been to a Five Guys? Would, do you want to ever go to a Five Guys? Would you like to give it a shot if you haven't been to a Five Guys? We can start there, number one. Number two, if you have been to a Five Guys, how would you guys rate it? And have you tried all the things at Five Guys? And what's your favorite item at Five Guys? You know my answer. The little bacon cheeseburger. The fries are amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, a very messy meal. I'm gonna wrap that up for later. more wipe how many napkins was that that's like five napkins maybe I kind of re try to reuse a couple of them I need like a special lemon water thing or, or some of the, some of the uh, Chinese food places will come around they have the, the little hot towel at that's all soaked in lemon and stuff and then they break it open out of its little satchel and then they, they give it to you with tongs. And, uh, and then you can clean your hands, which is great. They do it before and after the meal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for stopping by my mukbang, my Monday mukbang. Really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to check out my social media, on my Instagram, uh, Twitter. I bo they're both under uh, just Ken Domic. And on my big channel and at the or in the description of this video all the links are there so you can check them out there oh, so I hope you guys are looking forward to some of my travel vlogs on my vlog channel uh, I might be going to Illinois in April I definitely am going to uh, Palm Springs in May uh, Anaheim in June and Hawaii in July so if you want to check out those travel vlogs, please do. It's on my vlog channel. And again, that's under Ken Domic's Life. The link will be in the description of this video. You can pretty much find it if you if you look. But there are links. And at the end of this video, there should be a little thing here. So if you enjoyed this mukbang, please hit that subscribe button. And if you, if you liked me doing... Uh, a bunch of items from Five Guys today. Uh, please hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. And we'll see you again in the next Monday mukbang. Have a great day, guys. Bye.